next, a very funny man. I know you're going to love him. Please welcome James Acaster. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Good to see you all. So I drove past a field full of cows recently. And uh, all the cows were lying down, apart from one cow, which was standing up. <laughs> and, uh, later on that day, it, it did rain. <laughs> I bet they never let her forget it. Hopefully, you all know the thing about the cows. <laughs> if you don't, I'll explain it, don't worry. Basically, um, there's a rumour going round <laughs> that the cows can predict the weather. Uh, it's going to be sunny, they stand up. It's going to rain, they lie down. Granted, beyond those two types of weather, cows appear to have very little idea what's going on. <laughs> that doesn't mean they can't predict other types of weather, it's just that if you are a cow, there's limited ways you can express yourself. You've got two settings if you're a cow, you're standing up or you're lying down. You can't throw a lot of shapes. <laughs> and it's only British cows that can do this. I was talking to my friend Peter from Denmark. I told him about the cows in Britain. He said it was stupid. <laughs> Laughed in my face. He said in Denmark, we believe cows can let us know what way the wind's blowing. If a cow faces this way, then the wind is also blowing this way. I said, maybe you're right, Peter. <laughs> maybe it's pretty stupid of us British to look to cows to let us know what's happening in the future. But I would argue it's a little bit more stupid to look to cows to let you know what's happening in the present. <laughs> I think it's great that we still believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, my favourite one's the Loch Ness Monster. I love it. You know, most people who've seen the Loch Ness Monster, they describe it as looking like an upturned boat. <laughs> it does sound like they might have seen one of them upturned boats. <laughs> if you want to convince me that you saw the Loch Ness Monster, probably best not describe it as something else commonly found in a loch. <laughs> My favourite Loch Ness Monster sighting was by a couple called Mr and Mrs Spicer. Right, they claim they were driving home late at night and they had to stop their car to allow the Loch Ness Monster to cross the road. <laughs> um, that's their story. Could have seen two people carrying a boat, we don't know. <laughs> I'm aware they've made that up, right? I know that is a lie. That easily makes them my favourite couple that have ever existed. Right? Looking around tonight, there's loads of couples here. I'm sure you're very much in love, but in my opinion, you're never fully in love. Until one of you can turn to the other one and go... Do you want to do a Loch Ness Monster hoax? <laughs> I was just about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> what do you want to go with, upturn boat? <sighs> Screw that, crossing the road. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> you want to go and do it right now? <laughs> or you want to wait until we finish these crop circles? <laughs> well, you're doing a lot of fun. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.